the megalithic marvels of lore, very rarely studied, academically explored or publicized, yet regardless of this, remains one of the most curious and intriguing ruins of the Neolith Menhir age. Not only still in existence, but with many Menhir still erect, still standing tall across the landscape to this day, a legacy left to us by a now lost civilization. A collection of curious, kooky, and oftentimes mischievously graffitied prehistoric menhirs. The menhirs were often elaborately carved, and due to the unexplainable scale of some of the stones, cut, quarried, and eventually raised along the valley, it is clearly an example of an inexplicable ruin, an ancient relic left to us, once created using unknown technologies at an unknown time within history. A now lost, yet once highly advanced ancestor. Impossible for the current academically claimed culture, which is clearly a fallacy within modern paradigm. Some of the inexplicably huge stones incorporated into these sites are now being found scattering our planet. Like that of the Plain of Jars located in Laos, an unusual, enigmatic site we have also covered in the past possesses stonework from megalithic blocks of inexplicable sizes. These gigantic stone carvings, menhirs and jars, some still in astonishing conditions, are a testament to what our lost ancestors were once capable of, and due to the immense size of the stones they could control, have successfully left their mark far into an unknown future, our present. The channel feels a duty clearly as a far less capable civilization, that we do not withhold the evidence for their existence which has been a great disservice to those who deserve the truth. Multi-ton menhirs are located all across the Bada Valley, but not just the Bada Valley. Menhirs can be found across the globe, located in many countries, even in New Zealand in Rodney County. The erosion of many of the world's menhirs stonework, we feel, is indicative of incredible aging, and as such, possibly from the same era as the Bada Valley's mysterious menhirs. Yet regardless of whoever made these sculptures, there will never be any academically admittance to the evidence that these particular stone workings are found all over the planet. Yet regardless of any one's opinions regarding their past use, a function undertaken at a time so long ago, we may never know the true purpose of what our distant ancestors may have been trying to tell us, all those millennia ago, only time will tell. The menhirs and the hinges found worldwide, many now widely known about, have blown a few holes into the hull of the sinking ship that is academic paradigm. The fact that these menhirs are no less common and no less scattered across the globe merely lays another nail in the coffin for the timelines academia put forward for the migrations of man, and even our beginnings, for to have these unusual megaliths everywhere, their builders must have been everywhere too. A highly advanced, highly capable, once world-going ancient civilization an extremely long time ago. One which we find highly compelling.